All right, everybody, I hope you are ready and pumped up for some Mega Man X4. It is on its way right now. It looks like we're live. Oh, are we? Well, no. okay. okay. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, are we, are we, we're audible? We're on stream? All right. We're on stream. Hi. All okay. right. Um, welcome to my final run of the, uh, the stack game marathon. This is, uh, Mega Man X4. Uh, uh one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, a game with notorious voice acting and thankfully you donated so we can hear these good anime cutscenes good with like the parentheses question mark next to it of course um i am joined by my good friends uh, uh Me. <laughs> <laughs> hello it just... is i here upon will back again what if we just never said anything <laughs> 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 and i'm snag attack 8 you just heard me on the last one all right so um uh, yeah, this is going to be zero route, 100%. Um, uh, for, uh, and, like, like I said, you donated for all the cutscenes. Um, I am going to have a, a bit to say at the beginning. And also, um, so when I uh, when we get to an anime cutscene, um, I will say that, uh, I will, like, just ask everyone to be quiet because people donated. I'm sure they want to hear the cutscenes, too. Um... But I've, I've, I've actually, when practicing, been rehearsing what to say when and where and stuff. And I even, like, have, like, you know, okay, this is a good spot for donation, so I got you covered too, JD. Um, Perfect. Alright. Uh, and we're going to be uh, starting at uh, 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Cutscene, by the way. Yo. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Go destroy him. That's an order. But wait, uh, 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 <laughs> and then she say, I'm going to say, Oh, but I'm like 100 on call. <laughs> Same dream again. All right, <laughs> that was our uh, first anime cutscene. Uh, that face of Sigma is so unhinged, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we'll laugh at too. I think, right? <laughs> uh, so, scurry. This is our first stage, Sky Lagoon. It's a, it's like a city floating above another city, which seems like a hazardous idea. Uh, we can skip this Maverick here. He's a uh, he's a mini boss, but he takes forever to fight. We can just go over here. Uh, I'm about to do a, a technique called dash canceling. Oops. Uh, I will explain that in a sec. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of what I think is optimal movement is just doing these dash jumps like this. Took a lot of damage there, but that's okay. Here's our good friend Magra Dragoon. Speaking of dash canceling, I'm sure he'll be acquainted with that later. <laughs> Uh, he's a Maverick Hunter, and he let us know that Maverick took out the power. Uh, so the city fell to the ground, and the second part of this intro stage is the flaming wreckage that was the city. So, you know, that's fun. So, uh, to explain what dash canceling is, that's gonna be a big part of this run. Um, essentially, uh, I kind of accidentally did it there, but when you mash the attack button on the ground with zero, he does like a one, two, three combo. Um, but if you do any other, like, action, um, you cancel out of the combo, uh, so, oh, here's Iris, our girlfriend, I guess, and, um, uh, what that does is it basically, uh, just lets you, um, do the first attack of the combo, uh, by just switching back and forth between attack and dash, and you only do the beginning of the dash animation. Um... And that 
a lot of things don't have invincibility frames from the first attack. So it lets you shred a lot of things, including a lot of bosses. And that's the first boss down. Uh, pretty, uh... It's called, like, E-Region, Eregion? I don't, I don't know how to say its name. It was the same Maverick mini-boss from earlier, but we have to actually destroy it now. This is the Colonel. This is Iris' sister. Uh, he's he's raw. He is kind of raw. <laughs> he's based. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have another anime cutscene. So be quiet. <laughs> Brave soldiers of Repliforce. We have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together, we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Yeah. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! <laughs> the general has finally taken action. And now, my maverick hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> wonder who that guy was. Uh, we got a lot of text to skip here. JD, do you got any early announcements? No donations at the moment, but to everyone, if you are watching and want to donate, type exclamation donate in the chat. Take you directly to the Tiltify page where you can use PayPal, credit card, the other forms of payment. And this is all going to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Uh, and our first, hey, we know this guy. This is Magma Dragoon. We've already uh, seen him. Uh oh, but he's a bad guy. He betrayed the irregular hunters and hid himself inside a volcano. So, Magma Dragoon. The, we didn't see the text with Colonel, but the cutscene also kind of explains it. So. Basically, the Rebel Force was, like, occupying Sky Lagoon, so they were blamed for that, uh, attack. Uh, and we were just like, well, we just want to question you guys. Just, you know, just make sure you didn't do it, and Colonel was like, no! Screw you guys. <laughs> the plot of this game may be not the strongest aspect the, of it. The plot, Disagree. The plot of this game is unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, dire, but the game is fun. As we also saw during that rally, uh, there was uh, some mysterious agent in the shadows watching over things. Uh, who could that be, I wonder? What will, what will he do? But, uh, <laughs> here's some more dash in the store. I was going to say, uh, well, one, I was going to say, the irregular haunters. <laughs> <laughs> but two, um, irregulars is what the Mavericks are called in Japanese, I think, yes. right? So, but this game, they're clearly, the irregular hunters are the X hunters. Like, the Maverick hunters. The, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I can't do <laughs> Sorry, we can't do this. The Maverick hunters, meaning like X and Zeros. Yes. Like, group, but yeah. the game is just like, eh, irregular hunters. Irregular well, hunters. <laughs> it calls the Maverick Hunters except that one screen. Yeah, that one. I think they just didn't translate those screens at all. A, I think for such a for such a good game, the, the level of shoddy craftsmanship at work. Uh, it really can, only amp it really only makes it more of a ten. And you can put oh, yeah. the ride armor into this boss, which can make it a decent boss to start with. He is pretty tricky though. Notice his uh Akuma necklace screen with the green beads there, uh he uh, will employ a lot of Hadoukens and Shuryukens, and he even says it, if you didn't hear that. Um, uh, we want him to do an attack where he stands still, uh, so I can get out of the armor. He might do it here. Uh, yes! Ah, I'm not doing good at these dash cancels. But that's okay, he's dead. Yo! And you can definitely see there how, how much the dash canceling just eats through the health of yeah. these bosses. And he, with his last breath, tells us that uh, 
he, he, the reason he worked with, he destroyed the Sky Lagoon, and he was told to do it, um, by some mysterious agent, maybe that guy we saw in the cutscene? Mm -hmm. Um, November? Uh, mm -hmm. and he said he would give, uh, uh, X and, uh, or he'd give Magma Dragoon the power he needed to beat X and Zero, uh, if he worked with him, whoever it is, because he wanted to do that, apparently. I guess all this is... I was, I was say being being in the state of dying in Mega Man X means like having your torso be the only thing left and yeah. you like lying on the ground like that. Yeah. <laughs> Zero run in this game is really sick because one, you fight with a sword and you go hoo ha hoo, and that's just raw. Um, but also, instead of getting like you know the uh, typical themed abilities from each boss, you get like movement yeah. tech and new new attacks, and that's just yeah. really sick. I'm very glad to play with. I'm very glad you brought that up, Will, because yeah, we got uh, one of the another good reason to go after um, Dragoon first. He gives you Ryu Engine. Uh, I think a lot of fighting game players might be familiar with that if you know Zero <laughs> from those games. Uh, Zero's it, SRK. It's a uh, really cool, uh, really cool move. Uh, I'll probably show it here. Uh, yeah, he gets techniques and movement options for beating bosses. Uh, it makes the game feel much less like a there like kind of run and gun like you know shooter yeah. kind of thing, and more like an action game. But you still get the yeah. here's it here it is. Yeah. But you get like it gives you like the option to do something different, but you still have that classic like X uh, feel. Yeah, for if sure. You, if you want to just do that. I like I like these little like Repla Force uh, bees and hives here. Like the, the logo on it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> we have to brand those <laughs> hives with Repla Force. The Repla Force, the Repla Force bees. Repla Force marketing is really out there, just trying to like yeah. you know they're trying to get the word out. One of, my, one of the coolest things in Mega Man Zero One is that like you go to this underwater part at one point and there's submarines down there and they have the Repla Force logo on them. I'm like, oh my god, that's sick. That's sick. Uh, right here, uh, you can only destroy these blocks with a Ryu engine. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm make, basically doing a route where I don't have to backtrack. Uh, so I came here after Ragoon, obviously. Uh, let's give us a little shortcut here, and we are onto the one of the more frustrating bosses of this run. I feel uh, Web Spider. I, I just am bad at fighting him. It's not even that hard. I'm just reckless, and you know, just. I need to calm myself. Oh no, 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 Zebra, no. <laughs> zebra. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite bee pod? So you can actually, uh, before he even comes down, you can get a free pod shot on him if you can slash where he's going to come from when he dives down. Uh, these webs are annoying because if you get hit by them, they stun you for a few seconds and do a bit of a nasty little bit of damage. I think he's got it like a monocle. So notice his health has the Repl Force logo under it. Uh, Magma Dragoon had a different one, uh, a f very familiar one for Mega Man X players. It's a uh, maybe maybe a hint at the who that agent is that's it's in like the a, shadows. Wonder <laughs> what it might be. It's like a like a Latin character. Yeah, which one? <laughs> I wonder what it could. Wonder who it was. Wonder who's behind all this kind of. I think that is a really cool touch, though. Actually. It really you probably, is. You probably won't notice it, honestly, if you're not paying attention like yeah. the first time you play it. You know. And that's it for Warp Spot. Uh, anything to read, JD? Not at the moment. Okay. I really need to give this game another chance because it's been like a couple of years since I beat it. Um, the first time I played it, I I did it like back to back to back to back, like X1 through X4, um, mm -hmm. like beating X2 and X3 for the first time, and X3 also just left kind of a bad taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, and I did like an X run and then a zero run, so I was pretty burnt out by that point. But uh, zero run is, is really fun. Yeah. Um. I. I. This is actually probably my favorite X game. Uh, X one. It. This are like very neck and neck for me. But they're both so good. Yeah. I think this game is very solid. I also really like X two. Um. The thing is like. The X series? Oh, they love this animation in the PS1 X games, the stairway thing, by the way. <laughs> the, uh, the thing about um, the X series compared to the classic series, I think the highs in the X series are so high, but there's three of them. 
out of eight. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, wild, much wildly inconsistent. I think I think X three and X five are like fine games, and I kind of like think, X3. I think everything else after that is just kind of bad. X six is like one of the worst games I've ever played. Um, X seven, I know it's notorious. Uh, it's the three D one. It's like it is also very bad. It's just kind of bland. X eight is. Well, I mean, it's they tried. Um, I do. I know a lot of like hardcore Mega Man fans are big X8 fans. I'm not one of them, sadly. I think X2 is like a seven for me. I, it's like it's good. I just don't. It, I find it. I find it a bit more frustrating than the others that I like more. So I just haven't gone back to it very much. I actually think X2 is almost as good as the first Mega Man X. I really like that game. Also, I just, I feel like X1 is like a top. On this mini boss, I'm going to show off the power we got from Web Spider, Raijin Geki. That's not what I'm It's not good. It really shreds through this mini boss. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was definitely a point in time where I was like, oh, X1 just beat that for the first time. That was amazing. Can't wait to play all the other great X games. There's three other great X games. If this was the first one, then who, who, who knows what heights they reach the rest of the series. This is sheer heart attack, says Zebra. Yo. Uh, the, the heart tank here. Say a, a shout out to Split Mushroom, who's <laughs> not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Very I much a fungus. The, I think he is the only, uh, at least from what I know, I may be wrong about this, I think he's the only Maverick who's not in the Kingdom Animalia. <laughs> Speaking of boring elevator segments in JD, anything yet? <laughs> yes, we do actually have oh, cool. a $20 donation from Autobot AM saying, cool event, man. Keep at it. Not Thank right. very much, Autobot. Cool. Thank you, Autobot. Oh, yeah, wires. Well, sponge, see, sponges Spon are... Sponges are technically animals. Yeah. I know wire sponge looks like a cucumber, but a sea sponge is an animal. <laughs> This is true. <laughs> Mushrooms, however, not animals. No. <laughs> Whatever Axel the Red is. <laughs> He's a rose. Yeah, that, I guess that's that's the next one then after this. But he was mostly just a Guns N' Roses reference. Yeah. I mean, even like, I mean, he was still a red rose even before the, um, the... Oh, that's you know, true, I guess. Yeah. But they were like, oh, he's a rose and we can name him Axel. Because uh, for anyone who doesn't know, X5, they are like, what if we named all these guys after, like, uh, Guns N' Roses band member? It was specifically one person, but... It's Kino. Yeah, I actually like it, because even as a kid, I was like a Guns N' Roses fan, so I was like, oh, this is cool, but uh, a lot of people don't like it. But also, that was around the time the Maverick names started getting real dumb anyway, so I don't yeah. really care. Would you rather have Spiral Pegacorn or <laughs> the Skyver? Come on. I, I agree, actually. <laughs> Skyver. Burn Dino Rex is raw, though. That's better than Matt Trex. <laughs> that kinda. sounds like it sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh GX monster. I think it's just Spiral Pegasus, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, when yeah, it's well Spiral Pegasion, which means that I guess. We got Ku and Moo. Um... Oh, we're going to uh, uh, Cyber Peacock. So, um. Alright, uh, I'm gonna count us in, boys. We know what to do, right? <laughs> he lives in cyberspace and wants to destroy the network system. <laughs> right. So ready. Three, two, one. Wake Ooh, up, gamers! <laughs> uh, sorry, we had to get that in. It's a little ref to a podcast we love that uses this song. Um, the gimmick with the first part of the stage is, uh, uh, the faster you go, the higher rank you get, and um, 
for these segments, and uh, we need to actually S rank the latter two to get uh, some of the important items for Zero, a heart tank and a sub tank. Uh, if you were X, you'd have to do get S rank on all three because uh, he also would have a Dr. Light capsule. Uh, Zero was not, in fact, built by Dr. Light. We, we saw maybe a little preview as to who built him. Uh, He's built different. Yeah. <laughs> Rip to you. <laughs> Or this part of level. Uh, this is, uh, these green orbs, by the way, uh, no matter which character you're playing as, can only be destroyed by um, whatever weapon you get from Split Mushroom. For, so Soul Body for um, uh, X and this spinning attack we do it. We can we do now when we jump slash, which is called Kuin Boo. Uh, it also gives us double jump, but the spin attack is called Kuin Zon, which is funny. Mm -hmm. It's like like me kind of. <laughs> <Like, laughs> <Lenzo. laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you don't want to get hit by those orbs because they stun you for a few seconds and really slow you down when you're trying to complete the stage fast. Uh, this second part is it, it like it seems weird, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just like a gravity gimmick. Uh, when you step on these orange buttons, it like flips the stage upside down. There's like a small puzzle where you need to like use a block or a ball to like destroy this parts like these, but it's, like, not hard. Kind of like a Graveler's gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it is actually like that. And, uh, we're on uh, Cyber Peacock now. Uh, Split Mushroom uh, and Cyber Peacock also uh, have the same logo on their health bar as Magma Dragoon, so, uh, they must also work for this mysterious agent. There it is, look at that. I wonder who that belongs to. It looks so familiar. <laughs> um, pretty boring fight here, honestly. We just need to re engine whenever he appears. Cyber Peacock is sick, though. He, he looks is cool. very cool. Very cool design. Uh, anything else, JD? No donations at the moment, but if you guys do need, want to, Exclamation donate in the chat to get the link. All those proceeds are going directly to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Yeah. Every little bit helps. Oops. Uh, well, I have those notifications on. Sorry, Madam Wario. Everyone knows you're online right now. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Aim well, Wario. It's Aim Wario. That could be anybody. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we could get a Raku Hoha. It's a, a different, very different ability for Zero. Um, I'll explain that in a little bit, because we are going to have another anime cutscene. This is a real fun one, folks. Don't want to miss this. Be quiet. Colonel! What? I'm disappointed in you, Colonel! What do you think you're doing? It's not too late. Stop the coop now. Never. If that's your decision. Prepare yourself! Very well then. I'll spare your life for now. But next time, there'll be no mercy. Zero, please, don't fight with my brother. If you do, I'm afraid that one of you may end up... Someone must stop Repliforce. Zero! Good stuff, folks. <laughs> Great I know the, the I know the what am I fighting for cutscene is like the fan favorite, but that one's so funny. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Stop the coop is like peak. Stop the coop now. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to storm out. We're finally fighting the Repl Force again. No, <laughs> we, we forgot about Repl the Repl Force. We only stopped Web Spider from their ranks. Everyone else has been the the other agent. Ready. Yeah. Whoever that is. 
Who could it be? Who could it be now? <laughs> Big shoutouts to uh, this song. I know Odo really likes this one. I think this is his favorite song from this game. Big thank you again to Odin for organizing this. This is so much. This, this has been a really fun marathon. It's been an yeah. awesome marathon. Uh, this this cool ride armor, you never see this in the other PS1X games. It's always the claw one we saw in the punch one in the back of the stage. But this one's really cool. It like has like a gun on it and like shoots these three projectiles. Mm-hmm. And because of the way I go in Final Weapon, we're not gonna just we're just not gonna see that again this run either. Up there uh, would be a Dr. Light capsule for X. It's pretty tricky to get to. But thankfully, we don't got to worry about that. Where is he? Uh, this... I think a little... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, a little piece of trivia is that I guess... I think it's Storm Owl and Storm Eagle are, like, brothers? They're, I think, cousins, actually. Cousins? They are supposed to be related. Yeah. Robots Storm Eagle, Eagle, an iconic Maverick from X1. Yes. <laughs> the very raw theme. Yeah. Uh, so, Raku Hoha, as you can see, we got a little bar to our right. Um, it consumes energy to use. Um, if we take damage, it actually refills. So that's like mm -hmm. our Giga attack. Um, and it is uh, Storm Owl's weakness. But we want to wait till he's close so we can do more damage with it. Like that. There we go. Because the more projectiles he gets hit by, uh, the more it does. This is going to stop the storm out of five minutes. Well, Iris <laughs> they're, and Colonel. They're reploids. I Iris and Colonel are brother and sister. I don't really know what's going on there, but uh, there is you know. actually a bit of an explanation we'll get to about that later. It's kind of a weird thing that's, that's unexplained. Mm. Um, now we are going to uh, Frost Walrus next. Those Kerplop brings up those the X challenge. Yes. Which is and you do fight Storm Eagle and Storm Owl together in one of the early rounds of the X challenge, but if you never made it there, we, I don't think any of us hold it against you. Uh, that there was Blizzard Buffalo's frozen corpse in the background. Uh, Yo. Oh my god. That's weird. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, Ryu Engineer gets us a heart. Be careful uh, of these uh, freezy platforms. These freezy platforms spawn over you. It will kill. <laughs> Frost Walrus is really cool looking. He is I think cool. he's one of the cooler Maverick designs from this game. He's a lot cooler looking than Blizzard Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Up here we have a EX tank. Uh, this is um, it basically if you save and quit and start up again, or if you get a game over, it gives you five lives instead of three to start with. Weird item. You know, why not? That's a very tricky thing to get there. It kills you if you get smashed there, but I didn't. Uh, so this mini boss is interesting. Um, oh, there's Chill Penguin frozen there too, actually, and on the right there. Um, He's a classic. He has like two phases he goes through. Um, uh, he switches when we destroy these icicles, uh, or while the icicles are gone, so we're gonna destroy a bunch there and leave him stunned, kind of, while he tries to transform. Okay, he has a lot of free damage. Doesn't Frost Walrus kind of look like Zudomon? Yo! Our fella. Did did Digimon. Here's, this is the second part of the stage. It, weirdly enough, the only time I think a stage six changes songs between parts. Um, but this is the pretty boring uh, stage. Just gotta cut through the ice blocks. Yeah, I don't like this part. Uh, 
anything to announce to you? Uh, no. At the moment, uh, my shift for announcing will be coming up to an end here shortly, and Slim Kirby will be replacing me. Okay. I'll be in a little while. Uh, I saw there I got the uh, weapon tank. Uh, not that useful for Zero, unless you really need to use a lot of Rakuho. Uh, but it's 100%, so you might do it. And it's not out of the way. Or... These uh, birds that have like this, they're, they're like charging up, they will freeze the screen, and that takes like a few seconds that you really just don't want that to happen. Kind of the typical uh, big slow guy in the, mm -hmm. uh, in the bunch. Every game has one Maverick like that, I feel like. He's weak to Ryu engine. I'm a little long on so I'm not, probably not going to do that. You can get hit and reset the Ryu engine, but I'm not going to do that that much. gives us Hiretsuzan, uh, which is like uh, a downward ice version of Ryu Engine. So if you, like if you were a Smash character, it'd be like his down air. <laughs> it a, definitely would be his down air. You know. Yeah. He's a, if he, only. He's a, he's a distance trophy, though, so that's probably not going to happen. Which is a shame. I think he'd be a cool character, but, you know. Yeah. And here's our guy coming up. Uh, oh, man. He destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. Uh, Kerplop he just... oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to repeat it. He did. He destroyed he, the he, city and the, escaped the to the sea. <laughs> and escaped <laughs> to the sea. We let him. We just let him do it. Kerplop brings up a good point. Actually, the reason... Because the Legacy Collection uh, 2... Or 1, I'm playing on, um, lets you switch between uh, the Mega Man X games and the Rock Man X games. Uh, this is actually the faster version because uh, Mavericks have like uh, so like in this game the important bosses have like quotes they say before battle like voice quotes uh, as we all know forgive me zero well, yeah. in the Japanese version <laughs> all the Mavericks have that uh, but we don't want that that takes a few seconds of the time, so. my fate is sealed I have no, no choice, choice. Uh, <laughs> but this stage is um very interesting. This is the Jet Stingray stage. Um, uh, you're on a, a chaser the whole time. A land chaser. Uh, we're going the route. Is this like... I guess it's a marine base, it's called. But it's just a weird area. It looks it's cool. like Fisherman's Horizon from yeah. Final Fantasy VIII. It's a cool looking area, though. And he like yeah. actually appears in the stage, which is funny. Uh, like right here, for instance. Uh, This is a very difficult stage on the first play. I always mess up getting the pick up here. Okay, that is like one of the easiest spots for me to die. Maybe I'll get to Fisherman's Horizon someday. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't know. Uh, like, I'm not really good at fighting Jet Stingray, so I just kind of do this. I think this is probably fine. I'm sure it's quick. Kind of I think this is a really interesting way to like use the weakness on this boss because like mm -hmm. it's it's such a kind of like a specific move the uh, the downward ice slash thing that like you have to jump up and then get him with it. It really helps to have Kuhn. Yeah, for sure. True. Double jumps in games are always very helpful to tech, usually. Oops. Yeah, the <laughs> Odin goes, Yeah! <laughs> I can't really hear it right now, but that is like an audio cue I use a lot of the time for this one. <laughs> Jet Stingray rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah!
I'm doing pretty good. This is yeah. It's almost a shame the cutscenes are going. Maybe I could have PB'd. <laughs> well, <laughs> cutscene percent. Yeah. Oh well. I'm I'm glad we got the donations, Matt. Though, and I'm glad I could show these horrible cutscenes to everyone. I mean, these amazing cutscenes. They actually are sick, if, if not for the voice acting. Cause... They would be so cool if not yeah. for it, honestly. <laughs> and, like, like, I mean, not to give too much away, by the end, pretty tragic, honestly. Like, Oh, yeah. This game's story gets tragic, but it's just so undermined by the line deliveries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably... The... <laughs> I mean, other than the goofy, like, nonsense of the Repla Force as, like, kind of a just a functioning unit anyway, like, it is maybe the best, like, at least the most, like... I don't know, it, it pro probably would be the best X story if not for that. Well, maybe. I, I do think it's very like, this could have so easily been solved, I don't know. <laughs> if, if anyone had just communicated anything. I mean, Zero's not like, particularly great either. He like, no. he's very, he like, even Iris like, please don't fight my brother. He's like, I have to, I just like, want I just I, have I, to, like, I'm, I'm too prideful, I have to kill her. I'm sorry, Iris. I just really want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate your brother. He sucks, kind of. I mean, he sucks. I mean, it's just a convenient excuse. The opening, he drank my last coke. The opening FMV make like really seems like imply they're pretty good. They seem like good friends yeah. at first. It shows them like fighting, but they're both smiling. So it seemed like Zero and Colonel used to be pals, which is a shame. But they just they're just both too prideful, I guess. Who and Boo makes a joke out of this mini boss here? I just suplex it. Well, <laughs> uh, Saban isn't here, so. I do like that this stage takes place. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't the, isn't there a classic Mega Man stage on a yeah, train? Yeah, from uh, six. Five. Right. Five. The charge, charge Man. Yeah. yeah. Charge man. But I. Okay. Uh, if you hit the train, like, the side, the, those, like, ends of the train there, those crack-looking parts, you can, like, destroy parts of the train, but it, like, it doesn't really do anything. I don't know why. And the hard tank's just out in the open. Uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a weird champ still, to be honest. <laughs> the rebel force level on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Strong branding. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta admire it. Oops! Alright, first death. <laughs> oh, they took me back here, huh? Okay. Oh, it's just the end of the, the first turn. The Rebel Force logo again. <laughs> uh, this part, we're on the tracks. But then, like, we just get here and we just are on another train, I guess. Um, sure. We need the, we need the Macbeth conductor here. Uh, <laughs> Step on the gas! And it's a Slash Beast. <laughs> we could imagine that Slash Beast has that guy's voice, though. <laughs> There's no voice lines look, in this version of the game. Look how sick he was running by the train, by the way. That was cool. Slash Beast is awesome. <laughs> I think this is a fun fight, too. I'm hitting R2, which, which is unfortunate because it, you know, makes you use Rock and Poha when you're trying to dash cancel. I know, I think it's X's fight of this. He's like dummy weak to the yeah. uh, uh, power. Yeah, Ground Hunter. That's a uh, Stingray's power. Um, yeah, uh, JD won't be here much longer, but uh, if he wants to get the uh, last uh, announcements in, this is a good time. Well, I've got about a few minutes left, like you said. Uh, how long do you think you'll have on this run? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it won't. It'll probably uh, end after your shift ends, sadly. But uh, yeah, probably about a half hour left, you'd say. Um, maybe. I guess it depends on how the the final stages go. So, everyone in the chat, remember that at the end of this run. We'll be, we will be doing a giveaway for some Jigsaw puzzles, Pokemon Jigsaw puzzles. So make sure to stick around. That's pretty cool. I 
I, I missed that. I didn't even know we were doing a giveaway for that. I thought I saw something. I'm bad. jumping back in the game. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I saw something out in the. I think the Discord saw that. Or some kind of product. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> Slim going puzzles? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He little, woke up. A little more careful with this Colonel fight than I'd like to. Yeah, Iris is like, please don't go fight my brother. And Zero's like, no, I'm fighting him. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Die. <laughs> this is actually the, hey, second, this is actually the second Colonel fight, um, uh, but we don't do the first one. Where that cutscene was, uh, X actually just fights him. You know, I'm just going to take the death. I don't want to get too far into the fight. I just did not have the helmet to fight him. I got really beat up on that stage for some reason. <laughs> Those rolling, uh, spiky tire things mess you up. Show me what you've got. I can't really hear what lines he's saying, sadly, but he, ha he has some pretty cool lines. I, I, my, my personal favorite is, I've been waiting to fight with you. <laughs> oh, See, they, they just wanted to fight, I think, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> These, like, lightsaber duels with Colonel are really cool. Yeah. Uh, but he's he pretty weak to hear it. Yeah. Time, so. And that's it for Colonel. Well, Zero, you killed your friend. Cool. No. Hopefully our, uh, her, uh, our good girlfriend, uh, Iris there won't be too mad we her brother. Um, She'll shrug it off. Uh, uh, She'll come around. And she's gone. <laughs> She'll be fine. So, uh, all right, we're uh, now we're going up to space to fight the Repl Force and the final weapon. Um, maybe we'll find Iris here. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we can talk. We can talk some sense into her. Like, you know, we can apologize to her. Maybe. Uh, I'm sure this will have a good resolution. Yeah. Uh, just a reminder that all cutscenes are turned on for this run. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> coming up on that really soon. Get ready. And here's the Iris fight. So, the core she's holding, uh, I think, from what I understand, um, that is Colonel's core, and, like, they were built from, like, one big core, like, split into two. Um, and she has, like, a core like that inside of her, too. Uh, and that's why they're like brother and sister. Uh, it's, it's, there's some weird explanation like that. Um, it's a very, very odd thing, but it never gets explained in game. Iris has like the best uh, pre battle lines. Yeah. Give me zero. <laughs> Stay with me, brother. Okay. <laughs> Also, shoutouts to the Iris and double, <laughs> that double fight from the X Mega Man X Challenge. Yeah. A nightmare. <laughs> and we beat her. Um, oh. All right, so uh, <laughs> legendary cutscene in incoming. So uh, let's be quiet, everyone. <laughs> Together, in a world where only Reploids exist. Iris, there's no world just for Reploids. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist, with you. Iris! Oh. Iris! 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 Ah! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? <laughs> Sad stuff, folks. <laughs> Powerful.
the stage actually continues. That, that was just like a mid boss for the stage. Split path here. Uh, I mentioned earlier, there, there's like blue armor down on that path, which is really cool, but uh, I always take this path. Uh, it just seems to go by. Well, a lot of spikes like that. But it's really sh sh short. Ugh, I can't talk. It's really shirt. It's really shirt. It's really shirt. It's really a jerk. Uh, but we're on the boss of this stage. Uh, I guess this is well. This is the uh, last Rebel Force guy. So I guess this is probably the end. Uh, this is General. Um. Oh yeah. He's a. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's probably the end. I think mm -hmm. this is really close I to the end. No choice. This boss is actually fairly challenging as zero. He's so yeah. big. Yeah. He's huge. You don't have range uh, right. or weakness for him uh, as zero, so... X's run, you kind of just want to, like, from what I remember at least, just kind of, like, wall jump in place on the wall and just shoot at him. Yeah, he's weak to twin slasher, which is a uh, slash beast weapon as X, but he doesn't have a weakness for zero, so... I just want to try to... His only vulnerable is and it's on his head. Do you want to explain uh, why he doesn't have a weakness as Zero? And kind of maybe a little bit about Slash Beast's power um, for, for the Zero Let me just show real quick. That was Shapuga, that dash slash I did there. Useless. <laughs> Useless power. It might, it might as well do nothing. <laughs> There's like a boss... Uh, spoilers. Later. Uh, um, what? Where he's like on the ground and you're like, Oh, this is the perfect time to use this. Um... And it, he's immune to it. It does no damage to him. Shapuga is so useless. <laughs> Shapuga is laughably bad. Um, uh, we beat General, and it looks like uh, he actually uh, will survive the fight. But as it turns out... Um, Oh no, there's someone else controlling the weapon. I wonder who it could be. Um, what? Stop it. So we're going to move on to the final stage, final weapon part two. Uh, any last things to read, JD? No last things to read for me, and Slim will be here in just a moment. All right. Uh, remember, everyone, there's about 12 hours remaining of this event. It's been a fantastic marathon so far, and it's going to end out very strong. All right. Uh, thank you for uh, commentating, JD. Good job. It's been a pleasure. Great game so far. Yeah. Slim, I'll let you come on up. See you around me. Yeah. And uh, here we are in the boss rush. The classic. Yeah. Uh, Dragoon is funny because you have to, like, once you go in this teleporter, you have to, like, uh, move in, like, a little further. I don't know why, but you just do. Um, but, yeah. Um, Again, I'm just doing a boss rush, so if you want to you uh, introduce yourself, so you can go ahead and do that right now. Oh. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. Going to be going to be reading your donations and uh, announcing incentives, rewards, all that other kind of stuff for the next few hours. All right. Sounds good to me. So, yeah. Keep on going. Thank you. Uh... And my old nemesis, Web Spider, here. Uh, we love uh, Magma Dragoon. I, I know it's a little bit past now, but Magma Dragoon's Nacho Cheese Lair here in the, <laughs> in the boss rush. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is, uh, there are some enemies, or, or bosses rather, where it does feel like uh, Kuenbu uh, doesn't work as good as the standard slash. Mm -hmm. uh, one in particular. Uh, in fact, uh, the, a boss you can only fight with Ku and Boo during the refights, actually. <laughs> because it's what I'm sure. Magma Dragoon is like, I hid myself in the cheese, Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I betrayed the regular hunters and hid the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Magma Dragoon, the kind of guy to make. Table nachos <laughs> in the plate. <laughs> on our top nachos. On our top nachos <laughs> in the cheese layer. <laughs> I do actually know which teleporter takes you to which boss. 
hopefully get a less sloppy fight on this guy than <laughs> the first time. Come on down. You know you want to grab me there. We go. Yeah. And yep. All right. That's good. Good pattern so far. Yo. I mean, he he's like, please kill me, Zero. <laughs> he, he he was not ready for the. Boy, we gotta fight him again. No, 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 no. See, because what I heard is, beat the crap out of me, Zero. <laughs> Old summer peacocking in. Raw design. Wake up, gamers. Uh. <laughs> Warriors, gamers. Yeah, he was giving me some pretty good patterns earlier, too. Let's see if he keeps it. There is. What you're really saying is, beat the crap out of me, Zero. <laughs> I don't know what the frames are for uh, hitting with the Ryu engine right when you appear, but, or without getting hit, but it's fun to do. It, it, it just looks cool. Yeah. Nice strat. Cool shit that you don't know I made it teleport away again. That uh, missile attack he does is very annoying. He's actually, they actually made him weak to Magma Dragoon, because, um, uh, in uh, X's run, he's weak to, um, uh, what's he weak to? Oh, Soul Body, uh, with Split Mushroom's weapon. Mm. Soul Body's actually a really cool attack. It is cool. <laughs> like, it also, my favorite of X's moves in this game. It also leads to a really funny, like, uh, line of text in uh, X5. <laughs> during the uh, climactic X and Zero fight, where wh whichever one you're playing as, the you fight the other one, and... Um, once they're like doing like the like the typical Maverick explosion, you see like a silhouette come out of them, and the character you're playing is is like, shoot, I never expected you to use Soul Body, and then they're knocked out too. <laughs> so, <laughs> in in addition to Magma Dragoon now fully aligning with the elemental power of Nacho Cheese, Jet Stingray has chosen to build his <laughs> refight room in a Dugarita. <laughs> <laughs> This is where this <laughs> is at the Mountain Dew pool. <laughs> the final <laughs> weapon is actually the Gamer Factory. No. <laughs> oh my God! You're like Rebel dives in the water. For gamers. You're like dives in the pool, expecting it to be water. Then he's just like, uh. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Magma Dragoon is very cheesed to see us again. Oh, oh no. Actually, Yeah, I guess that uh, damage skip. I feel the, like damage boosting. I feel like I'm asking for them a lot awfully fast, but I do have a bit to talk about with the end stuff coming up. So, uh, Slim, uh, got any announcements? Um, we don't have any donations just yet, but uh, very quickly I will just uh, put up a reminder that at the end of this run we will be doing a giveaway for some Pokemon Jigsaw puzzles, <laughs> which, uh, come on, you can't, you can't beat a good Jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Slim was the perfect announcer for this. <laughs> He's really going to sell the puzzles to us. It's like pieces, but real. <laughs> it's pieces, you see. They based it off of the video game Pieces for the Super Nintendo. You can't get more raw than that. You can't get more raw than that. Uh, we do have another announcement as well, if uh, That's fine. we got some time. I uh, just want to announce that if we do reach uh, $13,500, uh, there will be a giveaway of the new Pokemon Snap game that will be coming up on Ooh. April 30th. Yes, so, uh... Yes, yes. You know, get those donations in there and uh, have a chance to uh, win that game. That's exciting. That, that is actually good. Really cool. I, I'm excited for that game. Me too. A lot of times, uh, Slash Beast will just do like a roar taunt at you, and just like when you're dash canceling, it's he's basically again just saying, "Please kill me, Zero. <laughs> he, chooses, he chooses pacifism. <laughs> Mushroom. 
Like, it's kind of more annoying to fight with Kuenbu, kind of. Uh, he's like, I don't want you to kill me again, so I'm going to give you a weapon that sucks against me. It was his secret plan. His mushrooms trick. Like, well, I'm going to lose the first time. That's like, that's a given. A mushroom split. <laughs> so you can only hit the real one, by the way, but when they're falling, you can see one of them is like kind of translucent. The other one is the real one. The, the solid one. Sometimes it <laughs> ends your run, kind of. <laughs> Sometimes you accidentally open up the in-game menu and reset the game accidentally. So. Uh, that was... It happened so fast. <laughs> you, you, you made it up, though. You it, was per it was perfect because we would have been way under time, I think, without doing it. A <laughs> funny guy's fart. You <laughs> That's what it is. All right, um... So and that's all eight Mavericks defeated once again. Sort of a sort of a toadstool's turnabout. Ooh. <laughs> so um, we're going to see who's behind this all. And uh, uh, oh, it looks like something spilled over from your run. It's de oh, it's Sigma actually. All right, anime cutscene. Be quiet, everyone. What's our current yes. situation? <laughs> Commander. Where's that red maverick that wiped out Gamma's unit? In, inside. He's inside that door. You may leave now. I'll take care of this personally. By yourself, Commander? I don't want any more of my people being sacrificed. Look, it's Commander Sigma. Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the Commander. What? Take that red maverick to the repair center and, and call Dr. Kane. I wish to have that maverick studied. <sighs> Commander, are you okay? Silence! And yeah, that's sort of how Sigma turned evil. Um, 
We're about to go to the final boss. So if there's any last things you want to read, this is the time. So. Okay, well, we do actually have two donations, uh, right. bringing our total up to 12,500. So just uh, 1,000 away from that right. uh, giveaway that I mentioned earlier. Um, we have a $54.69 donation from Summer Bee 76 Pokemon puzzles yes. are based. Just remember, it's nacho cheese. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Thank you. And we, we also have a $50 donation from Sigma asking, oh. are you ready for round two? Uh, I think so. I think I'm ready. So uh, this phase is pretty easy. You just want to... The first two times he appears, you want to bring into him before he can do his attacks, and then the, on every third time, he'll be invulnerable and do that swipe along the ground. Just want to dash up the wall or climb the wall and uh, air dash over him. I didn't really point it out. We got the air dash, which is called Hinyaku or whatever, from uh, uh, beating Jetson Gray on like X, who always gets that from like a capsule. I don't want to interrupt the, the final boss segment here, but I, I think someone, so, I think so, a couple of people pointed it out in the chat. Despite, of course, this game ha being so legendary and notorious for silly cutscenes, that cutscene where Zero fights Sigma is awesome. Kind yes. of. <laughs> like, it, <laughs> so, it's just really cool. It is really sick. Um, you, the second time you throw the scythe, uh, it can either land in the wall or the floor. You want it to land on the floor. Otherwise, it'll shock the ground a bunch, and uh, he'll do this really hard to dodge with Marine Attack. There, that's that's it, right? Like, I mean, no, he's yeah, done it's sh for sure. Like, when when has Sigma ever had another trick up his sleeve? If he's got one, this will be the first time. Yeah. Oh boy. Um. And here's the final boss. Uh, just. To, for Odin's sake, uh, time isn't right when we kill him. It's uh, I'll, 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 it's a little after. It's right when I think you stop talking to someone after this. But I'll, I'll try to for you. Earth, Earth Sigma here. So there's actually two um, uh, Sigmas you're fighting. Earth Sigma, which is that weird face we saw, and uh, this one, which is Gunner Sigma. Hopefully he the, we the weird face one is the one who is not affected by Shapuga. <laughs> yes. Uh, you would think, oh, he's on the ground, Shapuga, and then it just doesn't hurt him. It doesn't even work on him. He's immune to it. Just turn dash cancel. Er, very early into me and Terran's friendship, <laughs> we had a very comedic moment where I beat this game for the first time on stream, yeah. and... Uh, this fight took me hours, so uh, he's this, doing really good at this it. This <laughs> is actually, yeah, a really hard fight. Um, he keeps doing the end. Uh, one of he can do two things when he's when he switches to gunner form. Uh, either the end where he like says the, the end and swipes like a shot along the ground, or he can do the better attack to get where he just fires these slow rays for a long time, leaving a very open to damage. Uh, please do that now. Yep, he's doing it. Alright, this should... No, 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 never mind, it was the end. I don't, I can't, I don't have... Uh, I better use the safety stuff, dang. The problem is if you burn through all your sub tanks in the fight, if you're not as good, then you then it takes forever to grind them back up. It's not a good place to it's do that. That's a frustrating thing about the X Games. You know, Buddy's been defeated. Um, so we're coming up on time, and then one final cutscene. So after I say time, we uh, want to be quiet one last time. Uh, talking to Colonel uh, up here, who sacrificed himself because the weapon's gonna go off anyway. Uh, and time. And cutscene.
So, this is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. Iris! <laughs> You know, a really tragic, like, story for Zero, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of the game is the juxtaposition, I, I, really. I, I like, I, that's, like, like, I know all the famous lines, but, like, or, you know, people love, but actually, I think that's, like, I think the funniest line in the game is... I the, couldn't save anyone yeah. after all! So this is what happened to me. This is yeah. my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all! Th that's that's my favorite one, too. It's, it's like, the funniest one. It's just so much... It's just so much to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, A full emotional package. Uh, But, yeah, this was, uh... Mega Man X4, like I said, one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, it's like, despite like the bad voice acting and you know just general '90s cheesiness, uh, it's just so fun to play. Um, you know, like I said, I, I think I like this just a little bit more even than X1. Um, just especially the Zero route, like it's it's uh, so fun to just play through. Uh, there's the voice actors in the credits there. You, you did your best, guys. <laughs> you tried. They made an, an effort was made. <laughs> but, uh, Good stuff, Beast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm uh, King Hinzon, and uh, I'm done for the rest of the marathon. So uh, I can just relax and watch. Um, you can rest now. Yeah. Uh, Shift is over. Yeah, but Twitter at King Hinzon. Twitch.tv slash King on. Maybe I'll start streaming again. Uh, what about you guys? Yeah, Hi. So... Oh. <laughs> Will <laughs> does some things. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Snack. Um, yeah, I'm going to be live at 4.30 Eastern with my Tetris Effect block. Uh, maybe I should have called it a showcase because it's really not going to be a speedrun um, because... Speedrunning Tetris does not line up with my play style <laughs> at all and would require me to basically just focus on playing Tetris for like 30 to 40 minutes and not doing anything else. Um, but I'm going to show off Tetris Effect, a very cool game. Um, and yeah, this is my last CoCom block for the marathon. Uh, it's been a fun time. And you uh, stack? I will be CoComming on the Tetris Effect block and also doing some announcing for the final hours of the marathon sadly i don't want it to be over uh, -oh. uh that's coming up around uh, the evening tonight um so yeah stick around guys and let's keep you know keep keep watching keep tweeting it out yeah. let's keep the momentum going and we can keep working on that goal good stuff um and a big thank you also to uh, jd who was announcing earlier and slim who was announcing this last part here yeah good having you guys uh, oh, thank you. And a uh, little last, a uh, uh, little bit of text here. The battle has ended, but for some reason, Zero's memories of the past continue to haunt his mind. As a hunter, it is his duty to go after those Mavericks, and at the same time, he knows that it, that it is his destiny to defeat his friend one day. Two different people, two different fates. In the future, Zero's decision will lead two great hunters to tragedy. The future is coming. Kind of doesn't even happen, really. <laughs> <laughs> I also I love, love, but for some reason, the memories. Like, it, this just happened to yeah. him. <laughs> it's a passive-aggressive narrator. I, I mean, I think, they're talk, I think they're talking about, like, the the Dr. Wily, like, Maverick stuff, Oh, of too. course. Uh, you're, right, you're right. But, yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> But uh, that's it for me, y'all. Uh, hope y'all had fun watching. Uh, we will see you guys later. Bye. Awesome run, Kingo. Thank you. Yeah, great run. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you, King Kianzen, for that uh, very awesome and powerful uh, Mega Man X4 run. Just a couple of reminders here of some of the stuff that's going to be going on. Um, coming up next uh, for the SGM Marathon, we got an any percent run of Metroid Prime. 
being done by Bubba. Bubba is going to be playing through that game. It's going to be a pretty uh, long run as well. Going to be going until 4:30. Um, then at 4:30, we'll have the uh, Tetris Effect uh, showcase from Here Upon Will that was uh, talked about earlier. And then we also have at 6 p.m. we have a Donkey Kong Country 3, any percent warpless run by Mega Freak 400. And then finally at 7:30 p.m. we got. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, a battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, any percent run done by Zebra Goomba. So, got a very exciting lineup for the rest of the day as we're heading into the, basically the final uh, half day of the marathon here. Uh, we have raised $12,500 for BCRF, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. That's a lot of money, guys. Uh, thank you so much uh, from the bottom of our hearts for all the donations and uh, keeping this marathon going. It's, uh, it's been a great, uh, great weekend, and it's not over yet. We still have uh, lots of other stuff to come as well. Um, so just a very quick reminder on some of the uh, goals we have coming up here. Uh, if we reach $13,500 uh, in donations, we will be doing a giveaway of the new Pokemon Snap game that will be coming out on April 30th for Nintendo Switch. I will be doing that, uh, basically that giveaway at the end of the marathon, so uh, try to get those donations in as soon as you can, and if we reach our current marathon goal of 15000 uh, we will be giving away a Zelda prize pack, which will uh, basically feature uh, Majora's Mask uh, 3D for the Nintendo 3DS, as well as a Zelda and Mifa Breath of the Wild uh, amiibo set as well, so... Again, uh, still got plenty of time to reach those donation amounts, so, um, you know, obviously if you can and you want to donate, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, let's get a donate command in the chat here so you can see where to donate, and obviously spread the word. Uh, don't worry about how much you can donate or if you can donate, because uh, spreading the word helps just as much. Uh, you can always bring in some other people who might donate as well, and... Obviously, there's no donation too small for this event either. Any little bit helps uh, for a great cause like BCRF. And uh, here, we will actually be doing, uh, very shortly, we will have a giveaway for some Pokemon Jigsaw puzzles shortly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to be doing that in a bit uh, when that actually pops up. Um, don't do it until SpackBot actually gives the go-ahead, uh, which, okay, we're going to go ahead and do it now. So when SpackBot gives the go-ahead, you're going to need to type exclamation mark pieces in the chat and then uh, get those uh, commands in. And then at that point, we will uh, see who will win that. So while you're getting those pieces commands in chat, uh, there is another announcement I want to make as well. If we happen to reach uh, 12,700 between now and the end of the Metroid Prime run, uh, we will have some art prints that we're going to be giving away, uh, courtesy of Madame Toadstool, one of the uh, another awesome names and uh, runners of this particular event. So uh, definitely get those donations in and we can give away something else. And the winner of the giveaway is Little Foo. So, Little Foo, I hope you enjoy those uh, Pokemon Jigsaw puzzles. Pieces, game of the year. Never forget. 